Biofuels and the Future of Agriculture. This was the focus of a conference held in Milan by CNH Industrial in rage of Expo Milano 2015. One of the speakers was Professor Bruce E. Dale from the Michigan State University, who explained that nowadays only 3% of all fuels used in the world are biofuels. So we have a long way to go, but we're started. And it's important that we continue because our petroleum is not renewable. The way of life that we depend on from petroleum fuels will disappear. In the near future, in about the next 10 years, I think that we can double it and then double it again. So it'll be about perhaps 10% of our total fuel use. But we shouldn't make any mistake. This is going to take decades to roll out a large-scale biofuel industry. Many companies are still moving along the path of renewable energies. For instance, for New Holland Agriculture, brand of CNH Industrial, the methane power tractor is more than a project. Carlo Lambro is the brand president of New Holland Agriculture. We all know that the population will further increase by 2020 by 9 billion people and the big threat is how we're going to provide these people with the necessary food, with the necessary production trying to be in line with what is a sustainable agriculture, so without consuming more, without wasting and without uh, uh, pollution more. CNH Industrial is the European leader in the field of natural gas technologies for engines and commercial vehicles. The company's powertrain brand, FPT Industrial, is a global frontrunner in the development and production for natural gas engines for on- and off-road vehicles, as well as for marine and power generation applications. Thanks to FPT Industrial's technology, fellow company brands Iveco and Iveco Bus both count a full range of natural gas vehicles amongst their product portfolios. Iveco offers a full product lineup of compressed natural gas and liquefied natural gas commercial vehicles, from light duty vans to medium and heavy duty trucks for every type of mission. So, finally, the question now could be Professor Dale, will Metan save our world? <laughs> It's part of the answer. It's not the whole answer, but it's an important part of the answer. We have to have fuel. We have to have energy. We have to eat also. And so the important thing is to be able to combine those two activities in a productive way. And we can do that. It just requires us to use our heads, to be, to be more intelligent than we've been in the past.